Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got China Glaze UV Meant to Be. I'm going to do a gradient and stamping. Um, that's China Glaze UV Meant to Be and Funky Fingers. I guess so. Just so. I've already applied my latex and gotten started. I have a base coat and two coats of the white polish down and now I'm using that same white and UV Meant to Be on a dampened makeup wedge that I've cut in half. I like to cut them the size of my nails or kind of close so that they're just not too, you know, too big. I, I don't know. It just seems to help. Plus I'm, you know, I get twice as many gradients out of them. <laughs> I also tear, cut off the end of it when I'm done and, you know, save those to tear into little pieces when I'm doing like galaxy minis or, you know, different things like that. So on these gradients, you're just going to want to do it until the color builds up and to, you know, to the opacity that you want, that you're looking for. Um, you know, it's all about preference and how you like it. And that's what I do with them. <laughs> but I was really looking forward to doing this one. I, you know, it was one, one of those that I saw in my head. You know, occasionally my manicures are just completely random and then sometimes they're ones that I'm kind of pictured and... I just wanted a blue and white gradient and I finally got around to doing it and it just you know it really depends on the opacity of the polishes for how many rounds of it you'll have to do um, you just keep looking at it eyeballing it and trying to make them you know look as evenly gradient <laughs> as, as the other ones make sure they all look you know pretty close there we go. Got the mess going on today. This um, UV meant to be was from like a collection way back. I would say, you know, two, three, maybe four years ago. And it had just been sitting up on my shelf. And I finally decided I'm going to break that one out today. Get a little tap, tap, tap. So there we go. And I'm going to remove this latex. I was trying to use my uh, tweezers, but they were making me crazy, so I decided to do the tape trick again. Um, I think my latex is getting old, and it's just not, you know, performing as good anymore, so we'll see. I'm going to go in and do a little bit of cleanup with my cleanup brush and some acetone. Like I said, you can use nail polish remover. I just prefer using the acetone. <laughs> we all have our preferences. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and I've got it on the under underside of my fingers too. I'm going to top this gradient off with Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to get it smooth, smooth that gradient out and get it to dry down so I can do some stamping. Um, I always love how Putting that top coat on just makes the gradient more flawless. And here I'm going to be using the Ajubis plate. I think it's EJB006. And Crayola Insta Dries in white and Cerulean. That blue. And I've just picked this image. It was calling to me. Now when I went to pick out my stamping polish, I was really wanting to get something that was blue, like the same blue of the China Glaze, but I didn't really find anything. Um, my, my Manny Cave's a little bit of a wreck right now, and I couldn't dig all the way into my collection. So I'm going to do the blue stamping on the thumb, pointer, and pinky, and then I'm going to do white on the other two. Kind of mix it up a little bit. And why is my mani cave a wreck, you ask? Hmm. Well, it's because we had work done at the house and we had to pull stuff out of the attic. So my mani cave is covered in Rubbermaid totes. Full of things that need to go back into the attic. It's a wreck. I promise y'all. It is such a wreck. Uh. But it's okay. So here we go with this last one. And I really do like it. I think it turned out really cute. I'm going to go in and do some cleanup with my cleanup brush. I did try to use tape on this for cleanup, but I think I let it sit too long and it just wasn't working. So I just 
instead of fighting with it and still having to do this, I just went ahead and went in with my cleanup brush. Just get it all cleaned up and tidy. There we go. So, I'm going to top this one with the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat. Make sure not to smear that. Like I've said before, that white is one of the ones, white stamping polishes, or when I stamp with white, that's normally when I have trouble. And then I'm going to top it with my Posh Top Coat. My big, thick, glossy top coat. And there we go. I have a swatch photo coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.